Hey everyone, this is going to be part two of the Ford Mustang videos that I will be uploading. I have the rear bumper cover removal video already done and uploaded and this is the front end. As you can see, this is the new 2013 Ford Mustang and I will be showing you how to remove the front bumper cover. To get started, we need to remove this plastic shield that's secured with eight push pins. And just like any other push pin clips, use a flathead screwdriver to pop up the center piece and then you'll be able to remove the rest of the clip. And when you have all those clips taken out, uh, you can just easily remove the cover. Okay, moving on, we have four plastic fasteners in the front and then four metal screws. These you just unscrew the center with a Phillips head screwdriver and then you can take the rest of the fastener out. Then I'm also going to take out the metal screw, which is 10 millimeters. After those are out of the way, you can move on to the wheel well. There are three more screws that you need to remove here. And to get access, just move the wheel to the left or to the right. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Next step is to remove the underbody cover. There are a lot of screws that are holding this thing in place, so the best thing to use is a drill. It will save you a lot of time with these things. And if I remember right, these were either 7 millimeters or 8 millimeters in size. Then when you have all those taken out, just grab the cover and pull it down. Okay, with the cover out of the way, uh, we need to disconnect the side marker lamps. On the V6 models, there are also fog lights, and if you do have those, they would be right here. Go ahead and disconnect them. Finally, you also want to take off this outside air temperature sensor. It's clipped in place, so just wiggle it back and forth and pull it down. I'm going to disconnect the other side marker lamp. That's going to do it. Uh, now all you have to do is just grab the sides of the bumper and pull them towards you to disengage the clips. 
Here's a better shot of the three clips that hold the sides of the bumper in place. And if you look on the side of the bumper, there'll be this plastic bracket. You want to pull the side far enough to clear that plastic bracket. After that, just grab the bottom of the bumper and rotate it up and out. That'll disengage the center part and then you'll be able to take the whole thing out. For the GT owners out there, you'll want to obviously disconnect your fog lights that are in the center before you can take out the whole bumper. The installation is pretty straightforward, you just follow the steps backwards. I do want to leave a few pointers and one of them is uh, when you install the bumper, check the sides and make sure that the plastic bracket is tucked away behind the side of the bumper cover and also make sure that the splash shield is tucked away as well. Don't forget to reconnect the side marker lamps and the fog lights if you have them and also install that air temperature sensor. Then reinstall the underbody cover and tighten everything up. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and if you want to check out how to remove your rear bumper I have that uploaded as well. See you next time and don't forget to subscribe.